Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been uh, it's been quite a few months since I've done one of these and we've got lots of interesting products to show you today. In fact, what we're going to do today is not really going to be anything in depth. I'm just going to give you a quick run through of um, some of the new items that uh, Blackpool Air Rifles have got in stock over the last few weeks. I think you might be interested. I'm sure obviously if you see something in particular, uh, like one of the Krals I'm going to show you or something similar, uh, there's some other like YouTube uh, YouTube channels out there that are going to do a good job of doing reviews on them and stuff like that. Um, and we'll probably be doing more reviews on the Hot Air channel, but just for today, this is really just to say, hello, we're here. Uh, this is new and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's happening in the shop as well uh, at the end. Um, so right, let's get on with it uh, folks. Um, uh, you, if you spoke to me over the last couple of months, in fact actually probably the last uh, last year after we did the, um, I think it was the 2008 new air gun of the year which was won by Krell with the MPO2, uh, you probably know that I've been quite impressed with Krell uh, and I've seen a a, a, a big improvement in, in little things like, like trigger adjustments and, and finish in general uh, and we're really happy with Kral. Uh, the importers are doing a fantastic job which is Range Right so thank you very much Jill at Range Right. Um, I think that um, Kral are taking a good strong position in the market and I think whereas quite a few other manufacturers seem to be leaving the lower bracket, uh, I think Kral's going to actually um, uh, basically tidy up and I think actually that some of our other manufacturers are going to have to keep an eye because uh, some of the stuff's really really good value and like I said the MPO2 has been an absolutely fantastic rifle. Uh, what we got new today actually interestingly is the new Nemesis. Um, you might have seen this on our Facebook page um, and interestingly in the UK they're not going to be called the Nemesis because you probably know about the Webley Nemesis and um, you know they obviously aren't going to be keen on using the name so this is going to be called the Kral Knight um, it's a really uh, yet, yet again another bullpup design um, but you know bring it on if we get good bullpups um, I, I'm over the moon with it and some of the features about this rifle and like I say I'm going to keep this short and sweet because we've got a few to get through um, uh, nice walnut stock, adjustable cheek piece, uh, 10 shot magazine, Picatinny rail, uh, extra, super extra large bottle which I think is 500cc so you're going to get plenty of shots out of it, sleeve barrel but you've got a silencer adapter on the end for a normal half inch UNF silencer, um, uh, un uh, uh, unusually the charger is there okay, which looks like a bog standard day state but you get one with the crowl um, and you've obviously got a gauge on the other side. Um, Advantages, um, the main thing really is, is a phenomenal price really, £525 for that, that's a hell of a lot of wood and metal for £525. The finish looks really good, uh, the trigger's quite nice, and uh, don't get me wrong, it's not, um, you know, it's not an FX impact trigger, it's not a, a pulsar trigger, but it's for 525 quid. I think it's actually like, it's more than adequate and I'd be happy to shoot that. Uh, obviously side lever action. Uh, the, only, the only like disadvantage I can see is it is a little bit bulky. You can imagine if this had a carbon fibre bottle on it would be a lot lighter in weight but it would also be a hell of a lot more expensive, probably a hundred and odd pounds. And I'm pretty sure that Kral are actually going for value for money which is exactly what you're getting with these. Uh, available in 177 and 22. Uh, we've got them in stock now. Um, I, I think Kral are just keep producing winners uh, and I'm really pleased with that. You'll see the little red dot sight on the top. That doesn't come with it. They're about uh, we're selling those for about 25 quid. Uh, you can put a normal telescopic sight on, um, but nice little thing. Like I say, 525. Well done. Uh, yet again, crawl, crawl night. Nice one. Uh, right, move that out of the way. Um, we've actually got on the counter. You probably know that we're still doing the leshes, which are awesome. Uh, there is no other word for it. And you know, I like I don't like to sort of say things are awesome lightly. I think that you know they have to perform really well and. I'm just still stunned at the performance of the leshes. But the reason I'm going to mention the leshes is because we've now got all the barrels in stock. Um, so we're doing 177.20 or 22.25 barrels. Uh, these are 350mm ones. And if you want to put one of those on your gun, you need the little extension, which I think is £59. The barrels are about 135 You can tell I've not like, actually right, researched too much before I've come on air, but about £135. They'll be on the, the website shortly. We also we've got the uh, the bat uh, the Edgun bat silencers uh, and those fit on the Lelia and they fit on the Matador R5M. Uh, they're about 130 pounds. They evidently make quite a lot of difference. Uh, so we've got those in stock as well. 
couple of other things, if anybody noticed that scope, uh, this is our most popular selling scope for the egg and leshes. These are back into stock as well, this is a little Conus AS34. Uh, fairly low mag, goes up to 6 magnification, illuminated reticule, uh, loads of nice little features on it, extra Picatinny rails, blah 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 blah. Absolutely brilliant little scope, 149 quid. Also as well, if you're a lesser user and you're putting the subcompact scope on it like this, what I'd also recommend is this uh, little Picatinny razor. You can see here we've got this extra little rail at the bottom, uh, we're selling those for about 12 quid. That just lifts uh, your subcompact scope up so you can get your cheek piece down and it makes it nice and comfortable to use. Absolutely fantastic. And we've also got the sort of Atlas style bipods uh, back into stock as well, they're about £59. Brilliant for the front of, uh, of a Leshy, brilliant for the front of a lot of stuff that's got a Picatinny rail on it. So that's that's the AS34 uh, Corners. Funnily enough, also supplied by Range Right. Range Right are on a roll at the moment. Um, and the third thing that uh, comes from Range Right, and I know you probably have never heard of Range Right because they're our distributors. So you, you know, if you're a, 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 if you're a, an end user, if you're a customer, you won't get to hear about it. But Range Right bring in a lot of stuff, and Range Right have just announced recently that they've taken over the Crossman distribution in the UK. Who gives a monkeys, you might say? Well, actually, Crossman are doing really well. Um, it might not necessarily be the sort of thing that you're looking for, but I tell you what, like they do a fantastic range of cheaper rifles. Things like the Crossman Rat Catcher, which I'm sure everybody will have heard of, the Crossman Rat Catcher XL, the 1077 little semi-automatic fun gun, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and the latest thing, which is, is, is this is, I love this, uh, because this is the, the little uh, Rat Buster. Uh, also known as the 2240. Uh, now, actually, it is powerful enough to shoot vermin at really close range. We, we the, the guns are available on their own, but we actually like rang up um, Range Right and said, "Wouldn't it be nice if we could get a kit with a silencer and a scope and blah 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 blah." It took them two weeks to come up with this kit, which I, I, I mean, I've been asking certain companies for like two years to do things, and it's just never going to happen. So. Well done Range Right for actually listening to my suggestion and coming up with this little kit. Um, so basically what you've got is a 2240 which is a single shot CO2 bull powered 2.2 caliber air pistol doing about five and a half foot pounds. Perfectly adequate for like vermin at close range, especially like things like mice and rats and stuff like that. So for example if you keep chickens or whatever, this little thing would be absolutely perfect. Instead of having to use poison. Um, you know, just shoot them, uh, and this gun is more than adequate. To help you along, you've got a, a, a nice little fitted silencer and a silencer adapter. They've fitted the uh, the mounts and they put a red dot on. You also get bulbs, actually decent tin of pellets, um, lubricant, and a nice little carrying case as well. Uh, and that's coming in at 169.95. So actually, Crossman, do you know what? Um, People forget about Crossman, but they make some fantastic little bits of kit, uh, especially like at the sort of the, the 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 economy end of the market. So that's the 2240. I think they're actually calling it 2240 Pro Kit. Okay, uh, we've got those in stock right now, so they're they're a nice little thing. Uh, next, what else have we got? Um, knives. Now I know that some people are a little bit funny about knives, which is a damn shame because like, you know, we eat our tea with knives, we, we, we cut things, various things with knives, you know, we need knives, uh, and if you're a hunter, or uh, um, a wilderness uh, adventurer, or whatever, knives are obviously an essential part of your kit. So what we've, what we've actually got in stock, uh, we have a new range, uh, Takisu knives, um, and what's really nice about these is, is the, the really good quality, um, and sensible price. Uh, that's one of the knives. Uh, they do a range of folders. Uh, they start off at around about £30. I think the dearest one's about 50 G10 handles, carbon fibre, ball rest, ball rest um, uh, blade. So that part is very, very smooth. Uh, titanium coated screws, chrome molly blade. Um, that one's coming in at around about, I think it's around about £50. They also do, uh, this is my favourite there, there's another design there that's a little bit cheaper. Very nice quality again, you can see the carbon fibre. Um, really comfy knives, uh, gone down a storm so far so we've got more of these in. They also do a range of Tantos, if you're a collector you like the look of the Tantos. These are really nice Tantos, these are selling at around about £40 a piece. We've got these in stock now, as well as lots of other knives, but I'm not going to show you all the new knives we've got in stock, because we have got quite a few. So that's the uh, Takisu stuff, um, and we've got a couple more items. Uh, a lot of people have been asking us for uh, um, 
uh, hard cases. But the problem with the hard cases, up until a little while ago, it was basically you just bought these dirty, great, big, long 52-inch cases that, like, you know, are, are great if you've got a long rifle. But if you if you've got a bull pup or you've got you know you've got anything short, which a lot of guns are getting shorter these days, um, it, it, it's become a problem. So again, range right. This is like a range right advert. Um, range right, I've produced a, 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 a load of cases. Starting off with this little bullpup one, I'm gonna have to like get to my notes because this one is 85 centimeters by 26 um, by 12 depth. 85 by 26 by 12, that's about 30 quid. They then have decided to do uh, bring in some bigger ones. Uh, so you've got that one, that size there, which is, uh, 98 35 by 12 that's that's great for well in fact actually something like um, the uh, punch of night would fit in there perfectly so you've got something a little bit bigger uh, those ones I think are around about 45 and they do the big boy um, now these are 118 by 30 and they actually do a slightly wider one 35 which is really handy if you've got a big HFT gun or an FT rifle or you've got bipods and big scopes and god knows what the uh, the 35 one will probably be a little bit better for you uh, these are coming in at around about 59 so they're actually undercutting some of the competition as well they're all uh, they're all nicely lined they've actually got decent catches as well which makes a change because some of the cheap cases the catches are crap um, metal hinges uh, foam lined, lovely, 50 odd quid. So we've got those in stock as well. So we've got a really good range now of hard cases if anybody wants one. And lastly today, um, we started stocking uh, the ATN stuff uh, a couple of months ago, which is the 4Ks, which have just gone down an absolute storm. But uh, one of my good friends, Russ, uh, who writes for the Airgun magazines, actually uh, told me about PARD stuff. He says, well, I must get PARD in stock because they're absolutely fantastic. He's been reviewing them, absolutely loves them. So we've got PARD in stock. Um, we've basically got the, the little uh, 700 series, which is the one that fits on the back uh, I'm going to show you the size of it. So that actually fits on the back of your scope. So imagine you've got your telescopic sight here that actually fits on the back. They're £399. Um, and they, I've been watching some of the videos on YouTube and I'll tell you what, the quality, it just things have come on so quickly in the last couple of years, it's, it's amazing. Um, we've also got the top of the range one, which is the PARD 100 with the uh, LRF or laser range finder built in. These are coming in at 825, so they're still undercutting the ATN somewhat. Um, they're, they're really nice because, I mean, look at the size. Obviously, you get the mount with it. It comes in a really nice case, USB leads, all the rest of it. Uh, surprisingly tiny unit. Uh, £825 with the laser range. Well, that's the laser range finder there, built in. Uh, lovely bits of kit. And if you're into your digital night vision or you fancy jumping in, I think really now is it's about time. You know, we're, we're starting to see quality products with good image quality at sensible prices which is what we've been waiting for for quite a while like i said the atm 4k stuff is absolutely fantastic it's over 900 pounds i think the part is going to be a really good complement uh, and obviously you can build a, a, a lovely little kit maybe on a bullpup rifle keep it nice and short and sweet um, and low light performance is absolutely fantastic on these if you and they've actually got a decent illuminator um, which is unusual because a lot of illuminators that come with digital night vision are not very good um, if you do want illuminators though we've just bought uh, some of these in these are called the ignite x50 ir 850 nanometer illuminator sounds posh doesn't it sounds very complicated but basically if you've got a digital night vision and you just want to up this up the actual amount um, of IR, the, you, you go for one of these. These are going to be, I think they're going to be around about £130, so they're undercutting certain uh, certain other things by quite a margin. You can vary the length of it. Um, it runs off uh, it runs off these, okay, and you get uh, the charger with it and everything. So we're, I haven't tested these yet, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm going to go testing these this weekend. Um, but the, these are brought in by the people who bring in the pards. They highly recommended them, so we're probably going to stock those as well. Um, right, well, I didn't want to talk all day, and I'm sure you don't want to listen to me all day, but that's just some of the new products that we've got. Um, we have actually bought an amazing amount of second-hand stuff recently, so we've got a fantastic range of second-hand at the moment. 
Um, that leads me onto the website. You probably know that like we lost our website a couple of months ago. We had a major problem with the hosting company. Uh, they had they had a very serious technical issue. We lost our website. Uh, we were gutted because obviously we've been working on that for quite a while. And I know you guys have been asking me like nearly every day when's it coming back up again. Well, the good news is it's coming back literally any day now. In fact. I was sort of hoping it might be today, but like let's say by weekend. We're just going through uh, through the final uh, details at the moment. When the website is up and running again, we're going to concentrate and focus on the second hand section, uh, second hand stuff, which is which let's say is you know it's a, it's a big part of our business. Uh, and you'll see uh, the investment that we've made in all the second hand stuff because we're going to have a lot more. Um, there will also be uh, obviously all our other sections on the website, the new stuff, uh, you know, air rifles, scopes, etc. But please bear with us because we have to do all new photographs and it takes a little bit of time to populate the site. But the main thing that everybody's been asking for is the second hand stuff. Well, we'll be doing that straight away. So, literally, when you see this video, within probably a couple of days after that, our new website will be live. I hope you really enjoy it. If you've got any good feedback for us, I'd appreciate it. And again, as usual, if you've got feedback uh, about these videos, or you want to see something in particular, or you want us to stock something in particular, don't hesitate to get in touch. You know, we listen to our customers and we want to supply them what they want. Um, I think that's about it, really. Um, thank you very much for watching, as usual. Um, do the usual like and subscribe and blah 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 buttons uh, down below wherever they are. I can never work this out because I'm not very really good at this. But anyway, down below, click the subscribe buttons. Uh, I'm going to try and do more of these videos. We, uh, we I really want to do one every week, but unfortunately, um, our new policy is our customers come uh, customers in the shop come very come first. So if we've got customers to serve, that's what we do first. We ignore the phones, and I'm really sorry if you're trying to get through to us on the phone and it's engaged every now and again. But just bear in mind that at the other end of that phone, we are serving somebody in the shop. Uh, but when we get chance, we'll uh, we'll be doing more videos. Uh, I enjoy doing them, to be honest with you. I think it's really good, and we we'll get good feedback, so we really appreciate it. Anyway, that's me. Thank you very much. Bye.